In this video, you'll learn about easy yoga practice. Yoga is an ancient Indian philosophy that dates back thousands of years. It was designed as a path to spiritual enlightenment, but in modern times, the physical aspects of Hatha Yoga have found huge popularity as a gentle form of exercise and stress management. There are many different varieties of yoga, but each one essentially relies on structured poses, asanas, practiced with breath awareness. Researchers have discovered that the regular practice of yoga may produce many health benefits, including fitness and normalization of blood pressure. Yoga is a renowned antidote to stress. Over time, yoga practitioners report lower levels of stress and increased feelings of happiness and well-being. This is because concentrating on the postures and the breath acts as a powerful form of meditation. If you can breathe, you can do yoga, well-known Iyengar teacher Patricia Walden once said. Hence, yoga is becoming so popular today. Do you know what the biggest benefits of yoga are? Number 1. Improved Strength Routine and consistent practice of the various yoga asanas has helped people to build strength and improve lean muscle mass, most notably with respect to several muscle groups underutilized in chosen athletic disciplines of swimming, cycling, and running. These gains have enhanced core body stability and significantly impeded overuse injury by strengthening the supportive but otherwise underdeveloped muscles surrounding the more utilized muscles, creating a more balanced and optimally functional overall strength. Number 2. Balance Through a consistent yoga practice, you'll notice that your coordination and balance have improved immensely. Why is this important? Better balance and coordination means enhanced control over how you move your body, which in turn leads to better technique and form. Number 3. Flexibility Yoga invariably improves joint and muscular flexibility, which is crucial to the body's overall structural soundness. Enhanced joint and muscle pliancy translates to a greater range of motion or an increase in the performance latitude for a particular movement or series of movements. For example, a swimmer with supple shoulder and hip joints is able to capture and pull more water than a swimmer with a more limited range of motion. The result is more forward movement per stroke as well as enhanced muscular economy. In turn, this increased range of motion provides a greater ability to strength condition a particular muscle group due to the amelioration in overall force that can be exerted with each movement. Number 4. Free Your Mind the ability to create a stress-free mind is a significant benefit of yoga practice. The physical practice is used as a tool to enhance breath control, which helps improve focus and concentration, allowing clarity of thought and clear decision-making. It is a valuable tool in any sporting arena. Mental practice in any sport will teach you how to gain control of your emotional states so arousal levels and anxiety don't impede your performance. Number 5. Reduce Anxiety and Stress Yoga helps you reduce cortical levels and increase calming hormones, improve cognitive function, reduce blood pressure and heart rate, and increase immune function. These benefits combine to allow for better rest, sleep, and recovery, as well as provide the ability to think more clearly under pressure. Here are three tips for yoga practice. Number one, side effects and risk. Number two, things to consider. Number three, training, licensing, and certification. Let's talk about the side effects and risk of yoga practice. We all know that yoga is generally low impact and safe for healthy people when practiced appropriately under the guidance of a well-trained instructor. Overall, those who practice yoga have a low rate of side effect and the risk of serious injury from yoga is quite low. However, certain types of strokes as well as pain from nerve damage are among the rare possible side effects of practicing yoga. However, women who are pregnant and people with certain medical conditions such as hypertension, heart attack, or asthma should modify or avoid some yoga poses. Here are some things to consider when you've decided to practice yoga. If you're considering practicing yoga, do not use yoga to replace conventional medical care or to postpone seeing a healthcare provider about pain or any other medical condition. If you have a medical condition, talk to your healthcare provider before starting yoga. You should ask a trusted source to recommend a yoga practitioner. Find out the training and experience of any practitioner you are considering. Besides, you need to know that everybody's body is different and yoga posture should be modified based on individual abilities. Carefully selecting an instructor who is experienced with and attentive to your needs is an important step forward in helping you practice yoga safely. Ask about the physical demands of the type of yoga in which you are interested and inform your yoga instructor about any medical condition you have. Carefully think about the type of yoga you're interested in. 
For example, hot yoga, such as Bikram yoga, may involve standing and moving in humid environments with temperatures as high as 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Because such settings may be physically stressful, people who practice hot yoga should take certain precautions. These include drinking water before, during, and after a hot yoga practice, and wearing suitable clothing. People with conditions that may be affected by excessive heat, such as heart disease, lung disease, and a prior history of heat stroke, may want to avoid this form of yoga altogether. Women who are pregnant may want to check with their healthcare providers before starting hot yoga. There are many training programs for yoga teachers throughout the country. These programs range from a few days to more than two years. Standards for teacher training and certification differ depending on the style of yoga. There are organizations that register yoga teachers and training programs that have complied with a certain curriculum and educational standards. For example, one nonprofit group, the Yoga Alliance, requires at least 200 hours of training, with a specified number of hours in areas including techniques, training methodology, anatomy, physiology, and philosophy. Most yoga therapist training programs involve 500 hours or more. The International Association of Yoga Therapists is developing standards for yoga therapy training. Next, I'll share with you the eight different types of yoga moves for beginners. We have the warrior pose, tree pose, triangle pose, seated twist, upward facing dog pose, pigeon pose, crow pose, and child's pose. And here's how you do the warrior pose. First, stand with your legs three to four feet apart. Turn out your right foot 90 degrees and your left foot in slightly. Keeping your shoulders down, extend your arms to the sides with your palms down. Lunge into your right knee at 90 degrees. Keep your knee over your foot and don't let it go past your toes. Aim your focus over your hand for as long as you like, then switch sides. When doing the tree pose, begin with the mountain pose. Then shift your weight onto your left leg. Keeping your hips facing forward, place the sole of your right foot inside your left thigh and find your balance. When you're there, take a prayer position with your hands. To kick it up a notch, reach your arms up as you would in a mountain pose. Be sure to repeat on the other side. For the triangle pose, take the warrior pose on your right side without lunging into your knee. Then touch the inside of your right foot with the outside of your right hand. Reach up to the ceiling with your left hand. Turn your gaze toward and past your left hand to stretch your back. Don't forget to repeat it on the other side. For seated twist, first sit on the floor and extend your legs. Cross your right foot over the outside of your left thigh. Bend your left knee, keeping your right knee pointed towards the ceiling. Keep your right hand on the floor behind you to stay stable and place your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Twist to the right as far as you can moving from your abdomen. Be sure to keep both sides of your butt on the floor. Do this on both sides. When doing the upward facing dog pose, first lay face down on the floor with your thumbs under your shoulders and your legs extended with the tops of your feet on the floor. Tuck your hips downward as you squeeze your glutes. Keeping your shoulders down, push up and lift your chest off the ground. Relax and repeat. As for the pigeon pose, start in a push-up position, your palms under your shoulders. Place your left knee on the floor near your shoulders with your left heel by your right hip. Press your hands to the floor and sit back with your chest lifted. You can also lower your chest closer to the floor for a stretch. Try it on the other side. For the crow pose, get into downward facing dog position, then walk your feet forward until your knees touch your arms. Carefully, bend your elbows and lift your heels off the floor. Rest your knees against the outside of your upper arms. Keep your abs engaged and legs pressed against arms. You can leave your toes on the floor, or if you're a pro, lift them off and hover. To do this, try to keep tucked tight with your heels close to your butt. When you're ready, push your upper arms against your shins and draw your inner groins deep into the pelvis to help you with the lift. When doing the child pose, sit upright comfortably on your heels. Roll your torso forward and bring your forehead to rest on the ground in front of you. Extending your arms forward, lower your chest to your knees as close as you comfortably can. Hold the pose and breathe into your torso. Exhale and release to get deeper into your fold. And there you have it, a simple to follow step-by-step -step guide for beginner yoga poses.